India in 18th century. List of Mughal emperors. Emperor reign period notes. Babur 1526 to 1530 was a direct descendant of Genghis Khan through Timur and was the founder of the Mughal Empire after his victories at the Battle of Panikat 1526 and the Battle of Kanwakumayam 1530 to 1540 reign interrupted by Suri dynasty. Being young and inexperienced led him to being regarded as a less effective ruler than Sher Shah Suri, who defeated him and established Suri dynasty. Suri dynasty 1540 to 1555 no Mughal rule Humayun 1555 to 1556 restored rule was more unified and effective than initial reign of 1530, 1540, left unified empire to his son, Avar. Avar was one of the youngest rulers. Became ruler at the age of 13. 1556 to 1605 he and Bedam Khan defeated Hamu during the Second Battle of Panikat and later won famous victories during the Siege of Shitragar and the Siege of Ranthandri. One of his most famous construction marvels was the Lahore Fort. He abolished Zazia tax imposed on Hindus. Jahangir 1605 to 1627 opened relations with the British East India Company. Shah Jahan 1627 to 1658 under him. Mughal art and architecture reached their zenith, constructed the Tab Mahal, Jam a Masjid, Red Fort, Jahangir Mausoleum, and Shalimar Gardens in Lahore. Died in the captivity of his son Aurangzeb. Aurangzeb 1658-1707 he reinterpreted Islamic law and presented the Fatabi Alamjuri. He captured the diamond mines of the Sultanate of Golconda. He spent the major part of his last 27 years in the war with the Marat rebels, at its zenith. His conquests expanded the empire to its greatest extent, but overstretched empire was controlled by Manzandars, and faced challenges after his death. Bahadur Shah I also known as Muzan slash Shah Alam. 1707 to 1712 after his reign, the empire went into steady decline due to the lack of leadership qualities among his immediate successors. He released Shah Huji, son of Shampuji, who was the elder son of Shivahi. Yuhandar Shah 1712-1713 was an unpopular and competent titular figurehead. Farooq Siyar 1713-1719 his reign marked the ascendancy of the manipulated Syed brothers, execution of the rebel banda. In 1717 he granted a firman to the English East India Company granting them duty-free trading rights for Benpal. The firman was repudiated by the notable Murshid Kuli Khan. Rafi al Darjat 1719 the 10th Mughal Emperor. He succeeded Farooq Siyar, being proclaimed Badshah by the Syed brothers. Rafi Ud Oilat 1719 was Mughal emperor for a brief period in 1719. Nikusiyar 1719 was a claimant to the throne of India. Muhammad Ibrahim 1720 attempted to seize the throne at the behest of the Syed brothers in order to depose Emperor Muhammad Shah Muhammad Shah Rangila 1719, 1720, 1720 to 1748. Got rid of the Syed brothers, countered the emergence of the renegade Marathas and lost large tracts of the Deccan and Awan in the process. Suffered the invasion of Nader Shah of Persia in 1739. Ahmad Shah Bahadur 1748-54 his minister Satarjan was responsible for the Mughal civil war, during which Mughal forces massacred by the Maratha during the Battle of Chikandarab at Alamgir II 1754-1759 he was murdered by a conspiracy of Imad al Mulk and his Maratha associate Sada Shikradiya Shah Shah Khan II in 1759 he was overthrown after the Third Battle of Panikat by Prince Mirza Jawadot. Shah Alam II 1759-1806 he is known to have fought against the British East India Company during the Battle of Bunsar and reformed the Mughal army under the command of Mirza Najif Khan and is thus known as one of the last effective Mughal emperors. Akbar Shah II 1806-1837 he designated Mir Fateh Ali Khan Talpur as the new Nawab of Sindh. Although he was under British protection his imperial name was removed from the official coinage after a brief dispute with the British East India Company Bahadur Shah II 1837-1857 he was the last Mughal emperor. He was deposed by the British and exiled to Burma following the Indian Rebellion of 1857. The Mughal Empire started politically disintegrating after the death of Aurangzeb boundaries of India at the time of Aurangzeb existed from Afghanistan to Kauri and Assam to Baluchistan after the death of Aurangzeb a large number of independent states emerged. 
independent states. The emergence of six states. I. Ben Paul. An independent under M-U-R-S-H-I-Q-U-L icon in the year 1713 the walk was the title used unlike Badshaw used by the Mughals M-U-R-S-H-I-D-A-D-A-D, city after the walk's name, was big and developed as London itself. I-I. Marathas the empire was funded and consolidated by Chhotrapati Shiva Hebus so. The Marathas had a series of conflicts with the Mughals post Shiva he Five important centers of power had emerged. The families that ruled the five power centers of Marathas often used to clash among themselves and challenged authority at Pune. This helped the East India Company to easily defeat Marathas. Marathas also posed a lot of problems for the Mughals. They attacked regions from Punjab to Bengal which led to law and order problems in the 18th century. Power centers of Marathas not poor bonds so Pune residents of Peshwa, Gwani or Sindhya Narodak or Ekwadindor Holkar. Murshid Kulai Khan. He became deputy subadar of Bengal in 1713 and full subadar in 1717. He introduced the IJARA system by which contracts were given for the collection of revenue. In the second or third generation, these contractors or IJARADARs came to be called Zamandars. C H H A T R A P A T I S H I D H A R B H O S L E 1630 to 1680 founder of the Maratha Empire reign 1674 to 1680 C E coronation June 6 1674 successor Sampuji died 1680 Raghav Fort T E S H W A finance minister and prime minister of Maratha B A L A J R V I S H W A N A D H became first Peshwa after which the post became hereditary and powerful historians often credit British for improving law and order situation, which was severely deteriorating towards the end of Maratha rule. The causes of the downfall of the Marathas were as follows. 1. The Marathas possessed no national sentiment. 2. Internal jealousy and selfish treasury triumphed over public interest. 3. While individually they were clever, and brave, they totally lacked the cooperative spirit so essential for national independence. For They neglected developing artillery as the main support of defense. 5. The pernicious system of allotting lands in lieu of pay for military service proved ruinous. 6. After the death of Peshwa Madhavran I, no capable leader rose among Maratha 7. The British were masters in the art of diplomacy and often used the differences among the Marathas to their own advantage. The emergence of independent states. From within Mughal Empire governors from rivals of Mughals. III. AWADH independent under Salafis and Khan consisted of modern day East and Central up headquartered in Lucknow. Removal of Wajid Ali Shah the last Nawak is considered as one of the reasons for the revolt of 1857. IV. Hyderabad most part of modern-day Andhra Pradesh the capital was the modern-day Hyderabad city set up by Kamar Udin Khan popularly known as Chin Kilich Khan. V. Mysore modern-day Karnataka, some parts of Tamil Nadu and Kerala set up by Hindu rulers of Odiyar dynasty king at the time. Chika Krishna Raja was made a puppet by one of his own soldiers Hader Arli. Saab Khan Khan was a Mughal sub and was given the title Burhan Old Mulk. Sadat Khan's nephew and son-in-law Sadhar Jang 1739 to 54 became the next governor of Awad. He became the wazir of the emperor Hamid Shah. Apart from his contests with the Afghans, he had to carry on war against the Rahulis. In April 1752, Safar Jang entered into an agreement with the Marathas against Hamid Shah at Delhi. In return the Marathas were to be paid Rs 50 lakhs, granted the Shah of the Punjab. Sint and the due of in addition to the Subhadri of Ajmer and Abra. The agreement, however, failed, as the Peshwa went over to Sadler Jang's enemies at Delhi. He organized an equitable system of justice and adopted a policy of impartiality in the employment of Hindus and Muslims. After Sadler Jang's death in 1754, his son Shuta Ud Toila 1754-75 became Subhadar of Awad. Shuja Ud Toila played an important role in the changing political drama at Delhi. In 1762 he became the wazir of Imperator Shah Alam I. I. He entered into alliance with the Rawak of Benpal, near Kazim as well as with the Emperor Shah Alam I. I. against the company. He suffered a crushing defeat in the Battle of Bansar October 1764. 
By the Treaty of Allahabad August 1765 all the territories with the exception of Khor and Allahabad were restored to him. This treaty made the Nawab of Adam a dependent and subordinate ally of the company. Mir Kamar Yudin Khan Siddiqui August 28, 1671, June 1, 1748 was a Mughal nobleman the founder of the Asafiki dynasty. He established the Hyderabad state and ruled it from 1720 to 1748. He is also known by his titles Chin Kilich Khan awarded by Aurangzeb in 1690 to 91 Nizam ul Mulk awarded by Farooq Siyar in 1713 and Asafi awarded by Muhammad Shah in 1725. So, Kamar Yudin Khan Siddiqui, Chin Kilich Khan, Nizam ul Mulk and Asafi are the same person, the founder of Hyderabad. Tipu Sultan Tipu Sultan also known as the Tiger of Mysore, was the de facto ruler of the Kingdom of Mysore. He was the son of Hader Ali, at that time an officer in the Mysorean army, and his second wife, Fatima or Fakhir Bun Nisab. He was given a number of honorific titles, and was referred to as Sultan Fateh Ali Khan Shahid, Tipu Sahib, Bahadur Khan Tipu Sultan or Fatih Ali Khan Tipu Sultan Bahadur. During Tipu S childhood, his father rose to take power in Mysore, and Tipu took over rule of the kingdom upon his father's death. In addition to his role as ruler, he was a scholar, soldier, and poet. He was a devout Muslim but the majority of his subjects were Hindus. At the request of the French, he built a church, the first in Mysore. He was proficient in many languages. In alliance with the French in their struggle with the British, and in Mysore's struggles with other surrounding powers, both Tipu Sultan and Hader Ali used their French-trained army against the Marathas, Surab, rulers of Malabar, Korg, Bednur, Karnatic, and Travancore. He won important victories against the British in the Second Anglo-Mysore War, and negotiated the 1784 Treaty of Mangalore with them after his father died the previous year. The I Punjab established by Maharaja Ranjit Singh in 1799. Capital, Lahore spiritual capital, the Mritsar built an army considered to be the second biggest in Asia after the East India Company. Ranjit Singh Ranjit Singh rose into prominence. He joined the Afghan Hamid Shah in 1798 and seized Lahore in 1799. The Afghan king confirmed on him the title of Raja with possession of Lahore. In 1802 he captured the Mritsar. He soon threw off the Afghan yoke and gradually brought under his authority all the Sikh missiles west of Subledge. When the British forbade Ranjit Singh in 1809 to cross the Subledge and took the Sikh states east of the river under their protection, he kept quiet and had to conclude a treaty of perpetual friendship with the English at Amritsar on April 25, 1809. Check in the east, Ranjit Singh sought expansion in other directions. He acquired Kangra and occupied Adit the key to the frontier. He captured Multan in 1818 and in the following year Kashmir. In 1833 Ladakh was taken by Ranjit Singh and in 1834 Peshawar. Ranjit Singh was in every way as remarkable a man as his two famous contemporaries, Napoleon Bonaparte of France and Mohammed Barley of Egypt. He defended the northwestern frontiers against the Afghans brought the Kashmiris and the Pathans under his subjection and extended his spheres of influence from the borders of China and Afghanistan in the north to Sindh in the south. He set up a strong and efficient civil administration and converted the Sikh army into one of the best armies of the time. After his death in 1839, the Sikh state was torn by internal dissension. The English lost no opportunity to move in and conquered it. The Golden Temple Baharmadur Salih informally referred to as the Golden Temple is a prominent Sikh Gurdwara located in the city of Amritsar, Punjab, India. Construction of the Gurdwara was begun by Guru Ram Das Ji, the fourth Sikh Guru, and completed by his successor, Guru Arjan Dev Ji. In 1604, Guru Arjan Dev Ji completed the Adhavrak, the holy scripture of Sikhism, and installed it in the Gurdwara. In 1634, Guru Hargobind left Amritsar for the Shivalik Hills and for the remainder of the 17th century the city and Gurdwara was in the hands of forces hostile to the Sikh Gurus. During the 18th century, Suri Garmadur Salib was the site of frequent fighting between the Sikhs on one side and either Mughal or Afghan forces on the other side and the Gurdwara occasionally suffered damage. In the early 19th century, 
Maharaja Ranjit Singh secured the Punjab region from outside attack and covered the upper floors of the Gurdwara with gold, which gives it its distinctive appearance and English name of Golden Temple. The present-day Golden Temple was rebuilt in 1764 by Maharaja Jasaf Singh Bawuwe 1718 to 1783 with the help of other Misal Sikh chieftains. The gold plating of all the domes of Sri Darbar Sahib was done by Maharaja Jasaf Singh Bawuwe's descendants. Between 1800 to 1830 Ranjit Singh did the suit of adding gold plating and marble to the Gurdwara, while the interior was decorated with fresco work and gemstones. Architecturally, the Darbar Sahib has unique construction influences combining Muslim, Hindu and European design principles. The emergence of East India Company A.S. a major power block in India. 1803, East India Company under General late captured Delhi Mughal King Shah Alam I, I was now under East India Company. He was the first Mughal to get pension and protection from English. The Industrial Revolution began post-1750 changed economic and political system of Europe, Asia and Africa mainly required two things 1. Raw materials to produce goods 2. Big markets to sell their finished products. European countries started to look for more colonies intended to be markets for their goods and better political power in the colonies for acquiring raw material. Battles fought by British I against fellow Europeans. Portuguese Battle of Swally Hole, 1612 English vs. Dutch Battle of Batora, 1759 French Battle of Wandawash, 1760. Result of the battles, English dominated in the above mentioned battles. It helped them assert their supremacy in India. I, I, in India. They against Bengal Anglo Bengal Wars Battle of Plassey 1757 Battle of Bunsar 1764. Be against Mysore Anglo Mysore Wars These were four wars First War, 1767 to 69 Second War, 1780 to 90 to Third War, 1790 to 90 to Fourth War, 1799 Defeat and Death of Tipu Sultan. The main significance of industrial revolution to capture markets for the rising European capitalists who were producing a large number of goods and also required raw materials. The Carnatic coast is the region of South India lying between the Eastern Ghats and the Coromandel coast, in the modern Indian states of Tamil Nadu, southeastern Karnataka and southern Andhra Pradesh. Annexation period, 1757 to 1856. C against Marathas Anglo Maratha Wars These were three wars First War, 1775 to 82 Second War, 1803 to 06 Third War, 1817 to 18 It is the third war which sealed the fate of Marathas. D against Punjab These were two wars First War, 1745 to 46 Second War, 1748 to 49 By the end of the Second War East India Company was able to annex Punjab Division of India British India translate states asterisk two thirds of India asterisk one third of India asterisk eleven provinces asterisk five hundred sixty two states asterisk development like railways improvement in health education etc were introduced asterisk no concern for public welfare asterisk active participation in freedom struggle asterisk no participation in freedom struggle asterisk realization of modern ideas like freedom of expression asterisk limited access to modern ideas. Annexure 1. Annexure 2. 